klink. <laughs> Hello guys we and like. welcome welcome back to Tea and Tarot episode 15. Six. Fifteen. Nine? Oh yeah, fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> fifteen. Fifteen. We got it. We have it under control. The devil card. Another one of those cards that people fear vastly and greatly and deeply. So I feel like I have to, why they all end up on my channel for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> it is. I feel like one of the one of the culprit cards that make people think that tarot is devil worship. <laughs> yeah. Right. It could be without it being anything like that. Yeah. Because it's not the devil literally. No. You know. Well, it does have um, heavy energy over it. I would oh say. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's not. Let me see if I can do this then. So I do like just push it. Not all down, and just yeah. Not like that. Do I have to push it again to make it? No. It no. Doesn't. If you sit down, it should find the face. That's what it looks like, people. Yes. And uh, yeah, it, it's a very heavy energy card. Like you can see, people are chained up. And yeah, well, it depends on the depends on the card, I suppose. Yeah. But in this one, it's they're chained up. <laughs> that one is just like whoa. The thing is, the heaviest card we have here. This one. Yeah, it's very it's very graphic. Let me say that. I don't even know. I mean, it's not even that graphic, but you know, it's. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's a good trick. It I'm is a good learning trick. new things. I'm so excited. <laughs> it was so <laughs> funny when Q was like, how did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll have to go to her channel yeah. to see that. I will link the video up here. You can also find it if you are like a, like, like a, like a good little follower. <laughs> no. Yeah, I got a little follower. <laughs> if, 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 you are, if you have been following uh, T and Tarot, you have already seen that. Yeah. So you know what happened. Yeah. And yeah. Throw back to that episode. <laughs> Anywho, so let's talk more about the Devil card. So, do you want to tell us the upright meaning of the Devil card? The Devil card is all about addictions. Addictions, yeah. Um, depression. Right. Mental health issues. Right. It can be being bound to the wrong people. Mm -hmm. It can also literally be you have to be careful not to be chained up, like physically. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. being beaten up, so yeah. it has a temptation also, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, too much passion. Yeah, and also like it can symbolize a toxic relationship, right? I feel yes. like I read that somewhere. Yes, yes. Yeah. Don't don't live in temptation, people. <laughs> Some very Christian messages here all of a sudden <laughs> in the devil card of all things. Who would have thunk? Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so basically the devil card typically will be like the devil sitting on top of like a pedestal thing and then the two people chained up or bound in some way or another. Um, yeah. In most of the cards. Yeah, there's also cute cards. Yeah, I mean, of course the good tarot will produce something adorable. Yeah. <laughs> like a fairy and an apple. <laughs> Like a temptation apple. The apple of temptation. Even a little hard in the cut out of the apple. Oh yeah. It is Capricorn. Oh, it's in Capricorn. What is this disc actually, do you know? Oh, I love it so much. It's like, it's like a push into reboot button. And it's, it's, you know, it's a little key with a heart. Yeah. So it's like releasing yourself from toxic relationships or toxic situations. There's a lot of red, a lot of passion, yeah. spirituality, because apparently we learned that red can symbolize spirituality. It can, yeah. I didn't know that. I like that card a lot actually. Yeah. What is it from? I don't have the stick, no. no. The, oh, do you have the green one? Is that the one you have then? Because you I have, have one, one of them. Do you have the green oh, one? Oh no, I have this one. You have that I one. I have this one, I just haven't pulled it. So my, in my defense I have not used this deck a lot. This one is actually also because... Kia can show you. But if you 
look far away, it looks like the heart is like caved in, but it's actually not because he's just holding it, you know? Oh. It's not it's not a cage, it's actually an illusion like you know oh right the see through you can you can you can uh, learn to love again yeah and it's heart healing heart chakra healing it's pretty beautiful actually one of the oh. one of the positive positive messages yeah is this one of the cards that's traditionally better upside down yeah detachment yeah. freedom yeah release healing. self control yeah. healing yeah it is, yeah. uh, but I will say that I have seen in some cases it's like a pushy one. Like you really do need to do yeah. this. You need to let go of these things yeah. in order to. Depends it's on like the it's like a stern, a stern reminder to do what you need to do in order to become a better version of yourself. Yeah, right. Exactly. And be wary of these things that, you, like, be wary of the things that you can change that are within your control. Yeah. Right? Exactly. So it is a very beautiful card, but one of the very feared cards. Mm. And it's actually, I really like the Devil card. Mm. I think it's very telling and it gives a lot to a lot of readings. It does. There's very few readings where I don't want to pull the Devil card. Mm. Because I feel like it gives a lot of insight. It does, yeah. It's very yeah. insightful, yeah. like addiction. Yeah, for a lot, you know, for a lot of things. It's also the ego card. Yeah, being trapped in your ego. Yeah, walking in other people's shoes, letting other people tram. What do you call that? Stamp all over you. Shush. <laughs> Shush. Yeah. Walk all over you. Yeah, and also maybe. Like, yeah, letting people control you, and you know. This would be a good card to get if you're like thinking about going self-employed. If you're debating, if it's in a reading that's like, okay, but what will happen if I stay in my current job? Oh, yeah. You know, then this would be, you know, no, you need to go. Yeah. Do what you want to do. Yeah, don't be linked to the past or to the, uh, the old. Yeah, because this... In uh, like you could sort of interpret it as a as a corporate job, sort of actually like with the big boss and you know yeah 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 you know yeah. the nine to five slave <laughs> yes like not not maybe maybe not that literally but yes this is flowers she's chained up with flowers. So you could leave at any point, basically. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's interesting. If you are in an uh, abusive relationship, you you do have the opinion to leave. Yeah. Or the option to leave. Option to leave, yeah. It's also interesting that we have the people from the lovers, but there is no tree. Like we talked about that, the lovers card. Yeah. The trees are gone. The trees are gone. There's no more trees. But it is the people from the lovers card, right? I think so. It could be. Yeah. But it could also just be, you know, again, we are just using our intuition yeah, <laughs> when yeah, we uh, look yeah. at cards. This one... Not that. I feel like... <laughs> it's so strange. <sighs> it's a little much. Yeah. You know, take it back several notches. I feel like this does not get the meaning. Like, in terms of, you know, things to look at and, you know... Symbols and stuff. This card does not give as much as a lot of the other cards. <coughs> no, it doesn't. Like, so it's a cool <coughs> card to look at, don't get me wrong, but it's not... Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have the same amount of messages and stuff. I don't like it that much. Yeah. It's not It's not the favorite. Which one would be your favorite devil card? If you had to pick one that you thought was like really amazing. Well, I do really love um, this one. Yeah. Because it's like you, you can push the... Push the reset button. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, like really like feeling like, oh no, yes, no, just yeah. do it. Yeah, just do it. Yeah, I think that's really powerful. Temptation. It's a really powerful card. I actually like that too. Yeah. Do we have anything else that we need that we need or want to say about the devil card? Don't be afraid of it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid of any card. No. No. It's a matter of how you interpret it, and it's gonna be fine. Yes.
Terror is not scary, just do the thing. Yes, exactly. Right? Yes, I would say so. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that was pretty much it for the Devil card. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to go to Sandra's channel, subscribe to her content, she makes awesome stuff. And remember to go check out the playlist if you haven't already, if you just stumble upon this randomly. Yes. We do have a playlist, we update it every Wednesday. We can say that now. Yeah. Every Wednesday we update it. And, um, with new content? Yes. Yes. Apart from that, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button if you would like notifications so you don't miss an upload. And yeah, the next video will be on Sandra's channel. Whew. So, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!